Zambia does not have the capacity to strike back at the enemy because the enemy has been prepared for the last 60, 70 years, South Africa, for the last 54 years, Rhodesia. What's more, centuries behind them coming from the Western countries, vested interests. That is the correct analysis of the problem. And unless you understand it in this way, you will be misled by the enemy. The enemy is bent on destroying your Morero, Zambians. We in Zambia are peaceful people, peace-loving. I challenge anyone to say today here that Zambia is a warmongering nation. I met John Foster, the arch-fascist and racist, on the bridge, on the bridge, in search of peace. I failed. I failed. Joshua Nkomo came here and said he was going to make have another try. I said, Joshua, don't. This thing is dead. He said, I must try. I said, you are a free man. He went to Salisbury. For weeks he was there. He failed. He was in search of peace. Ian Smith has come here. And I knew I would be subject to misunderstanding by my colleagues in frontline countries, by my colleagues on the continent, by my colleagues and others in the whole world. I have allowed Smith to come here on a number of occasions in search of peace. But I'm a man with a conscience, clear conscience. God is hearing me. I can never sell out Africa. Never. Not me. Not these boys here. Not these girls here. We are men and women of principle. We have done all these things in search of peace. But it has to be genuine peace based on sincere, genuine majority rule. Anything else, you can kill us. Zambians will be born out of our blood, will continue to fight. We are such a people. 